Hey gang, I'm back again doing the live video I promised I would do today. I almost forgot. And then somebody liked my post and I was like, shit, I gotta get on that live video today. <laughs> uh, it's easy to let the day go by. But anyway, uh, day is about over here. And if you live in the panhandle, wow, it is muggy. Holy smoke, it is muggy here today. But at least it's not cold and it's just... Really hot and <laughs> moist. But anyway, today's topic is going to be, I think I titled it right, uh, how to get started doing YouTube videos and know you don't need an online following to do this. You can start this with zero. You don't need anybody to follow you and because YouTube has this great gift of doing SEO if you, for you and get you followers if you do it the right way. So I'm going to cover a few things here. This might be a two-part video maybe, probably, because... I'll go through it enough, but I want to give you guys some tips because a lot of you, you know, like making videos now on your phones and you share it on Facebook, but hey, you might as well share it on YouTube as well, right? Get double the coverage. All right, so I'm going to get started here. So the first thing is, let's say you have no idea, you know, how to do YouTube, so just take some notes here. Um, first of all, you have to have a topic or a theme or something, you know, like because you want to gain a following with a certain you know, niche something you do, your hobby or your work or your business or whatever. So the first thing you do is create a topic or a theme. In my first video, I talked um, in a newsletter form, and this is how I started is my video I put out in a newsletter in 2008. That was my very first video. And in the notes below, I'll put a link to the video so you can see <laughs> the quality of it. It's quite hilarious, and it's really bad. And I promised the world I was going to be doing it every week. I think that's what a lot of people strive for is I'm going to do it every day or I'm going to do it every week, but don't promise that. Just do it when you can, and if you like it, you'll do it a lot. Okay, and then you can name your YouTube channel. So sometimes in there it takes your Gmail name, So, but you do have a, uh, an area where you can go rename it. Mine is Call That Girl, and I think that's still the name of it. So my Call That Girl has nothing to do with what I do, which is Outlook support, okay? But in the beginning, I think the videos I first did had nothing to do with Outlook or Office 365 because that was in 2008 and I was just doing computer repair for the most part. So still doesn't matter. You know, I'm still doing the videos. Okay, so then you create your channel. Like I said, I'm going to put it in the notes down below um, my first video and my channel so you can take a look at it. And, you know, I've been doing the videos for, what, 11 years now? And I don't have millions of viewers or subscriptions or subscribers, but what I do have is a steady flow of videos that I'll explain how you can make money off it is, you know, people call me. I do the how-tos, tutorials, and things like that, and then people watch them, and then they call me to make money, but I'll cover that here in a minute. Um, so before you start the channel, you got to decide what you want to do with the channel. One is do you want to make money off it? Do you want to... Uh, just gain an online following and not care and just have it for hobby or fun? Or do you want to end up selling products or your services? Um, there's the three different ways. I've seen people do it, and they're really smart about it too. But um, mine is strictly to make money, you know. But um, I'm trying to think of uh, a lot of people think, well, I want to get on YouTube to make money from YouTube. And... I will tell you that it takes a very, very long time to be able to make money off YouTube, like them send, to send you checks. I think last year I got my first check, and it was $500. It took a very long time to get $500. I mean, I'm talking years and years and years. Then once I got the $500 check, they did this thing where you had to have so many, um, you had to have so many uh, viewers and, subs and subscribers to be able to start making money. So I was actually like halted from that, and then I could start doing it again. And um, I think it was forty thousand, no, hundred, but two hundred forty thousand view minutes, and that's a lot. And you have to have a thousand subscribers. So here's what I tell people: is you could probably make more money with other ways than to earn five hundred dollars from YouTube. Okay. So I'll just recap here: have a topic um, or a theme create your channel, name it the same, and then what's your goal with it, okay? So make sure you stick within, you know, if you want to make money off it by selling a service or product for fun or, what else did I put here? Or just make money from YouTube itself, which is very hard. 
So everybody has to start somewhere, okay? So one lady I was talking to on Facebook a while back, she said, well, I started to do videos, but nobody watched them, and so I just gave up. Well, the thing is you just got to keep doing them. If you really want to do YouTube for whatever your purpose is, you got to make the videos and just keep going at it. And I'm going to give you some tips how to make your views better and your subscribers, but, you know, you just can't make a few and hope that you're successful because you're not. And there's this lady, um, I think her name is Tiffany something, but she runs this Facebook called Juggling the Jenkins. And I looked at her YouTube. I think I talked about this in the last one even. And let me just say that her first video many, many years ago only had 600 views compared to what she has now. So I'm sure she didn't, you know, when she first started, she only had probably had a few, but she kept going. And she found what she liked doing. Now she's got a huge channel and a huge, you know, viewer number okay so next is let's see here like i said i'm gonna put my video down below now the last facebook live i did i put um that video on youtube and right now i'm gonna go see how many views it has so what i did was when you do something on facebook live or put a recording up you can hold on you can um um, let's go over here and see what this is. You can upload it to YouTube. Oh, there's my thing here. And you know what? I don't have a ton of viewers. I got 34 for the same video I did. And 34 views, you know what, with five likes. Now, that's all from YouTube people. I did not push this YouTube from Facebook. So it's just naturally just going to grow, you know. And uh, that comes from your tags and stuff that you do. Okay, now let me get back to my notes here. Um... Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to, after you get your channel done, you're going to go upload a video. And this is where I might do a tutorial. If, you know what, I'll do a tutorial if five people put a little heart on this video like. Because that means I know you like it. And then I'll do a tutorial. But I will kind of just talk it out right now. So you upload the video, and then before you name it, open up a browser in Here's what I say is don't be logged into your YouTube channel. Like pick a different browser and go to YouTube and search what you want to title it and go look for other people that have kind of have a similar name video. Okay. And you know, you're not cheating, but just take down a few notes like, oh, these are the real popular titles. Okay. So give yours a unique title, but something really close to everybody else's that because there's, that's how it works with YouTube is it's organic SEO and you title it to what you want. And then with that list that you created, there's a section underneath called tags. And you type that in as a tag, okay? So you can have, I think, 20 tags. It's really nice. And then you put up the video, you upload it, and then it gives you an option to use a thumbnail of your own, or you can use one from the video. Sometimes they only give you three choices, and they're really ugly, so you just want to make your own. And I recommend that you pick your own that matches how you want to be known for on YouTube with the same color scheme and you know it's easy to do something in Canva um, C-A-N-V-A is a program I use just to make simple graphics it's awesome and then you um, so you, let's see you do the title the tags there's also a description area now the description also uses that for the search engine so you want to make sure that you put the title like at the top and then put down below like um, hey, I'm uh, Susie from Nebraska. I sell, you know, Scentsy. <laughs> so I'm just giving some ideas. And uh, you can buy my stuff here. Then you put a link for people to buy there. It's always nice, nice to write something really um, organic and just kind of like how you were talking, but you're typing, okay? And you can tell when people have a lot of scripted notes and such. I've done it before, and I don't think it works that great. So you got your title. You got your description, you got your tags, you got your thumbnail. And that's what people see when they go to search on YouTube. And there's a lot of other things you can do, but I don't do that. I just do simple stuff. And then you hit publish. Here's the cool thing about YouTube. It pretty much instantly publishes it. So if you take your title and give it a like a minute even, go to the browser you're not logged into, you're probably going to find your video at the top. It's, it tends to take things right away and search it at the top. But then if you don't continue to make videos with those titles and tags, you will drop. But eventually, the cool thing is as you start building your tags and titles, YouTube is like, oh, we get what she's doing. 
she's building her audience of people that like these keywords and they will eventually start giving you a little more traction as you do more I guess it's that's one way to put it oh uh, let's see where I'm at here hi Sarah Bell my one lonely live follower hope other people watch it this is a good little vid I'll put it up on YouTube <laughs> okay uh, another thing you can do is uh, if you want to what's called piggyback on someone else's channel that's kind of like yours you can go ask them hey can we be channel buds uh, or it's called friends or something but basically you put your channel as a favorite on theirs and they do it to you or vice versa whatever I did this and it helped me with getting more subscribers uh, because when people go to that person's channel sometimes they go look to see what that person likes and your favorite so then they will watch your stuff and um, another tip I learned is you want to make sure in the video that you don't have to have fancy graphics or anything make sure in the video that you um, thank the uh, audience for watching ask them to like share and subscribe a lot of people won't share it but they like it at least and they usually hit the subscribe button now the thing about YouTube is I don't think a lot of people I don't even get the notifications from my people so that might be something I've turned off by accident but I've, I don't seem to get them <laughs> so I just go and just go check on the ones I want to see whenever I want to do it um, let's see what else is there you guys can do I'm gonna go look at my channel real quick see if I'm missing anything you can also put a intro video on your channel which is kind of like where people that's the first thing they see when they come to your channel and the, my big one I have is called how Microsoft Exchange works and why your business needs it because that's one of my biggest selling products you know I really enjoy um, you know those clients that are googling and they see the Microsoft Exchange because then they know I do it I rank really high in YouTube for the word Microsoft Exchange I'm gonna make sure I still am on the top there I like letting my listeners of my shows see my stuff in action so if you go to YouTube and type in Microsoft Exchange um, I am ranked number two underneath the Super Bowl ad I'm actually number one so that means that I only have 31,000 views but there's other videos underneath mine that have you know like 57,000 views 75,000 but I still rank at the top I think that's because YouTube is like hey girlfriend you keep doing those videos about Microsoft Exchange we're gonna keep giving you high rank that's how I kind of look at it and let's see what else can I give a thing about um you know if you're gonna do um, how-to videos like with your camera and you have to do a lot of editing um, people really like to follow instructions to a T so here's a trick if you are looking to get people to hire you as well is give don't don't cheat them give them the give them the answers okay but you don't have to go into detail how to do each answer all right so that's my my trick I do is I say well you need to export your contacts to a local file in Outlook well I could say you need to export your contacts to a CSV file and then you can import them in that way but then I have to go into more detail what's a CSV file how do you do it and that's not part of the how-to video see what I mean so then you could say at the end well if you want any help you can hire me you can reach me at this number and my email and that's how I get a lot of calls from YouTube and you know I I don't think you're really cheating the system because you're just telling how to do one level but you don't need to go into full detail and I get a lot of calls for iCloud that way um, I just do the basics but some of my videos let's see I'm at um, I'm at 360,000 views as of today and that to me is a lot <laughs> 1962 subscribers that's decent also uh, YouTube gives you a spot to put some links for your stuff to sell or to schedule time with you um, you know it's really nice it's it's actually a good marketing um, marketing channel and you don't have to have a following like I said it, everything's built in you can share your videos on all the social media and it looks pretty decent and uh, you know I'm just finding it you know I like doing the videos like I'm doing right now 
I like just talking freestyle, no editing. And that's kind of like if you were doing, uh, you know, something you didn't need to show people you could just free talk it out. That's, that's my favorite. And if you do a lot of editing, you got to learn programs like Camtasia. Camtasia is, um, a serious editing tool. It's like $300 for the pro version. And you should probably take some lessons on it if you don't know, but with Camtasia, you can do all those, those quick little, you know, blings and the fast music and all that stuff. And nah, that ain't for me. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, looks like I have one live person. Do you have any questions? Cause this is your chance, girlfriend. <laughs> all right. Well, I think I have two people now. Well, I think that's it for today. I'm going to end it and then go and download it and put it up into YouTube. And we'll have a challenge to see what how more views I get over here versus there. All right, gang, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the vid. See you. Hold on. Yo! <laughs> hey, kid. I'm going to give you a laugh. See ya.